Well, you know, hopefully uh, we can find a way to take advantage of the technology that we've developed in the industrial world to uh, help along you know, struggling uh, economies that are still trying to uh, meet their needs, whether it's food or fresh water or shelter. Um, hopefully we can find a way to also use the technology that we've developed to uh, help um, in a sense to, um, to decrease the vulnerability that the developing world um, uh, has, for example, to issues related to climate change. Uh, one of the issues um, when it comes to climate change is that the impacts are likely to be most severe, for example, in the developing world, in the tropical regions of the earth, where you know, many people are still struggling to meet their food and, and fresh water needs, and so hopefully we can provide them some of the technology that we have in the developed world to help them along because we are going to have to adapt to some amount of uh, climate change. Hopefully we will be able to mitigate, we'll be able to prevent uh, the worst changes from happening, but we're already uh, committed to a certain amount of future climate change and I think it's going to be the responsibility of the developed world to help decrease the vulnerability that the developing world has um, to, you know, to these, these sorts of issues.